Bach on the Enterprise Bridge says that on the planet they encounter in the nebula, there's limited to no life forms. What? Let's listen first. Massive subterranean development, but limited to no life forms on the surface. I mean, what, what, what is he talking about? If we go back to the picture, we go left. There's a picture on the surface of planet later in the movie. It's, it, this is not limited to no, li no life forms. There's trees, this is, bushes. This is, this is teeming with life forms, even different types of life forms. You got this like fungus looking thing growing on the trees. That's right. Moss growing I mean, on the trees. Yeah. I mean, teeming with life in a space situation, maybe I would imagine be much less within this. This is like an earth ecosystem. That's right. Like the, this is a healthy earth ecosystem. I've seen yeah. places with much less foliage than this. That's right. So w what does he mean limited to no life forms? He means like they're not Vulcan. So yeah. therefore, wh what could that possibly mean? They're not as enlightened as Vulcan. So therefore they're sub human. They're sub the sub life. That, that, that's I've right. Known. If I was an away team and Spock was like, there's limited no life forms on that planet. And I beam down. I'm like, I'm in the woods. Like what? I'm in the woods. I'm going to get ticks. <laughs> this is terrible. I did not this have, <laughs> I did not tape my pants to my shoes. That's right. Let's uh let's beam back up. Let's get the proper equipment for a planet with a forest. Thanks, Spock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spock. Wow. What was he doing? Super wrong statement. Super wrong. Yeah, I wonder if okay. So there's definitely flora, right? So yeah. plants. But yeah. I wonder like can you have a plant ecosystem only? Or do you need to have something that eats away decayed stuff, so fungi? Do you need to have stuff that produces that converts the tr the plant matter into other nutrients? So, do you need some animals to eat the stuff and then to poop out the nutrients? Is it? I don't know. So, I'm not an ecologist. So, I think ecology is in its infancy, and like, can you can I think you can ask this is this is my physicist understanding of what's going on. So, grain of salt. But like, if you ask a question like, can an ecosystem survive without fungus or animals or something? to take care of the, I don't know, decayed matter? I think the answer is a huge, we don't know, because it's, it's so complex and we can't even in the current world, like replicate the earth ecosystems within like a dome or something. Like it just falls apart. We, we have so little understanding that we can't even do that. How can we answer the question of like a hypothetical ecosystem on a, a planet where life evolved independently of ours. I think, I think we cannot answer that question oh. right now. I mean, we we could trivially answer that question and just be like, this tree does this thing perfectly. This other thing does it perfectly. Done. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Okay, but there may not be real systems that actually do that. That's right. And these are like intertwined, like right. maximally intertwined systems. So changing one thing, it's not obvious how that's going to affect the other parts of the eco ecological web. Um, intertwined yeah. and for example with like the yosemite wolves like oh, delicately yeah. non-linear balance if you have right. too many wolves they kill all the deer then then the grass overgrows then you have forest fires and if you have too few wolves then there are too many deers what did i say the same thing twice anyway delicate yeah. ba delicately balanced yeah. ecosystem yeah so it's like you change the wolf population and the flowers bloom more brighter in the summer like what what that's what? unexpected. <laughs> unexpected, you know. Or like, yeah, you mess with the wolves, and now forest fires are a problem. Like, I thought wolves mm. eat, ate deer. Like, what, what are we talking about? Forest fires. It's just so mm. interconnected. You know, it's hard to make solid predictions. But Spock is up there in the spaceship, saying like, "There's no one walking and talking, so therefore, there's no life on this planet." No, no life on this planet. Spock, elitist, elitist.